welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays, I'm exploring the Airbus A321LR by Enables, and in this regard, I'm making a series of videos of this plane so that I can just break down all the information related to a flight into different videos which will make it easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel. Before this, I've uploaded videos in which I've shown you how to configure the EFB and the MCD of this plane, how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly it on uh, autopilot, how to perform an eyeless approach and landing, and uh, plus how to perform an RNAV approach and how to auto land this plane. Uh, now, this is going to be a short video in which I will show you how to select an alternate airport during the flight. It's going to be really interesting. It's uh, short and simple. First of all, let's make the flight plan. Uh, I have uh, this uh, sim brief uh, dispatch system uh, in the in the tab for this uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can uh, download it and install it. I will give you the link in the description if you don't know how to do this. So let's uh, go and uh, make a new flight plan. And um, I will be doing uh, today this uh, short flight from uh, Qatar, Ahmed International Airport to uh, Dubai. So it's OTHH to OMDB. Uh, now the alternate airport, um, we can automatically select it or otherwise I can enter OMAA which is Abu Dhabi International Airport. So I will be selecting this airport as an alternate airport. Let's uh, quickly select the airframe and uh, this one. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'm leaving the cost index to auto and the altitude is also set to auto. Uh, passengers will be full and uh, I will just carry some extra fuel. Reserve, uh, let's uh, carry 60 minutes of extra fuel. As I'm not paying from the pocket, so I really don't <laughs> care about it. Let's uh, generate this flight plan. And that's it. So this is how you uh, create a flight plan uh, with an alternate airport. I can close this. And now I can configure the EFB and the MCDU. And uh, once I'm uh, in the flight, I will then tell you how to select this alternate airport. Now the plane is almost at the cruising altitude. Uh, so right now I will select the alternate airport. So for this, we have to go to the MCDU. And uh, over here, go to the flight plan. And in the flight plan, you can select any of the waypoints from where you want to uh, divert the flight uh, from uh, the main uh, course to the alternate airport. Let's say I select uh, this uh, waypoint Purli. So I will select Purli and uh, you can see this option, enable alternate, just click it and uh, that's it. Now after Purli, there is a discontinuity. You can delete it. So press clear, just get rid of any messages or errors over here, press clear, and then you can just delete the discontinuity. Now you can see that the flight plan has changed and um, it's taking you straight to this uh, airport, Abu Dhabi International Airport, uh, but you haven't selected the approach. So we have to select the approach for that. So select the airport, OMAA, arrivals, and uh, now let's check which runway is selected in the operational flight plan. So if you go to the operational flight plan, you can see this alternate information uh, is shown over here. Uh, this is the main route and this is uh, the alternate. So the runway is uh, 13 right. Let's select 13 right. So ILS 13 right. And uh, The star is uh, Emiru 2A. So let's uh, select this one. Oh, there's uh, 1B. I can even select 1B if uh, the, main, the given one is not available over here. And let's see if there is any discontinuity. Yeah, there is a discontinuity. You can fly this approach uh, using uh, the discontinuity. I have uh, a video on my channel in which I've shown you if there is a discontinuity, you can still fly this approach. But right now for this video, I will just simply delete first uh, the manual waypoint and then the discontinuity and that's it. 
now let's uh, go to this option plan and uh, let's uh, scroll through the flight plan and you can see that all the constraints are shown over here and uh, this is the final approach so everything is good now that's it so let's go back to this option and uh, i think we have uh, missed the top of descent no it's still there the top of descent is there now let's enter the destination data that's required so go to this option performance and uh, next phase next phase next phase and over here we have to enter this information so i will use uh, navigraph for this or you can also use uh, the efb if you go to the efb Uh, you can just enter the airport over here and search and you will get the weather information. But as I also need uh, the minimums, that's why I'm using Navigraph. Uh, so let's uh, click this option and uh, open airport and uh, here's the weather. So first of all, uh, the QNH, it is 906. Temperature is 21 degrees centigrade and uh, the wind is 20 degrees at 9 knots. And uh, let's uh, look at uh, the transition altitude. So the runway is uh, 13 right. So let's uh, get back to the flight and let's select the approach. And the transition altitude is 13,000 feet. That's it. And uh, the minimums, it's uh, for ILS, it's 278 in terms of barrow. So 278, that's it. Now we have uh, the destination data over here as well. And uh, let's cross check if we have the ILS frequency. The identifier is IAE. And the frequency is uh, 109.15, it's there. Course is 126 degrees, so let's correct the course, 126. And uh, that's it. Now you have a new flight plan with an uh, alternate uh, airport and the target altitude to which I will descend is 3000 feet, so I can just like set the altitude to 3000 and once I am uh, near the stop of descent, I can start the descent. So I just wanted to keep this video really short because uh, uh, this was a very simple procedure. Maybe at times you have to select an alternate airport if the weather is not really good or you just want to practice it. You just want to fly the plane around. Uh, so that's how uh, you do it. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I keep on just making videos and just need uh, some good support from you guys. Thank you very much for watching it. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.